Hey everyone, and welcome to Developing for Android Wear by Tuts Plus. My name is Paul Reese, and I am a software developer out here in Boulder, Colorado in the United States, and I work for a company called Sphero, which makes mobile app-controlled robotic toys, and is best known for its work on the BB-8 droid in the new Star Wars movie. My role in the company has to do with mobile app development and emerging tech, so I've actually done a fair amount with Android Wear, and I hope to use that knowledge and experience to help you get started with Android Wear development. In this course, you will learn how to create a very basic watch face that you can then expand on. You will also go over how to create a standard application that works on the wearable device that utilizes UI components from a support library, such as the delayed confirmation view or the grid view pager, so that you can create UI that look like they are part of the actual Android Wear system. So as you can see here, we have the grid view pager that allows you to display cards to your user and swipe through them just like you would on the notification stream of a wearable device. If we go ahead and close this, you can see that we have a list view here, and this is actually a wearable list view, which I'll go into in detail in a later lesson, but this is specially made for wearable devices to be easier for your users to use. In addition to UI for applications that are installed on the wearable device, you can also use notifications. So in this course, we'll go over the basic notification, how to create one with multiple pages, the way to stack multiple notifications, as well as display a action button for your users. The last two types of notifications we will go over are the voice reply notification and a notification that uses a custom activity so that you can display whatever kind of content you want for your user. So if we go ahead and click on the voice reply option here, this will create a voice reply notification that we can scroll down to. And if we scroll over, we can click on this reply button and this will allow us to present options and voice replies to our application. So if we go ahead and click on draw emoji, this is another option that is available that we will cover how to create within this course. So I'm just gonna go ahead and draw a line and see what this will offer for us. So let's go ahead and go with the plus sign. And we can see that this emoji will now be sent to our application so that it can be used by our application. So hopefully I've gotten you a little excited to jump into Android Wear development. And if so, then I will see you in the next lesson.